Hi, I'm David Lobel, and today I'm going to explain the difference between the porterhouse steak and the T-bone steak. Both steaks come from essentially the same part of the animal, which is the short loin, which is this nice little piece of meat over here. That's one end of the short loin, which you'll see in a moment is wider than the other end. That's the more narrow end. The porterhouse steak comes from the wider end of the short loin. The porterhouse steak really is the best of both worlds. You get two of the most popular steaks in one. The New York strip steak, which you can see here, is on one side of the short loin, and the filet mignon, which is another great steak, is on the other side, and in the middle is a bone. That's where the porterhouse comes from. If you take the short loin and you go all the way to the other end, as you can see it's a lot narrower, and there's your New York strip steak, and you can see it's missing the filet mignon, which has just a portion of it. That's the essential difference between the porterhouse steak and the T-bone steak, the size of the filet mignon. Now to give you an even better illustration of the contrast of the two steaks, you can see the one in this hand has a huge filet. That's the first cut off the short loin, which is the porterhouse steak. On this side, there's a very small piece of filet mignon. That's the T-bone steak. To, to order these wonderful steaks as well as any other product from Lobel's of New York, please visit our website at www.lobel's.com.